Welcome to Geared Up on GeekWire. It's your source for weekly tech news and hands-on reviews of the hottest games, gadgets, and high-tech gear. I'm Todd Bishop. I'm Andrew Edwards. Hey, we got a fun show for you today. It's Unlimited Palooza. That's right. <laughs> That's what I'm calling this one. This show is about all about unlimited data plans. That's right, because I've had some very personal experience with this topic. And in fact, I wrote a story, I think more than five years ago now, okay. about my debate over whether to switch from AT&T's unlimited plan. At the time, I was grandfathered in, right. and it raised all sorts of questions about the future of data, the future of devices, how I was going to be using technology five years from then, okay. which is essentially now. Is now. So we're going to use that as the lens this week to talk through what everybody else is facing now mm -hmm. with the decision about which wireless carrier to go to and which plan to, to take. So right. I actually went through that about a month ago myself. Oh, very, very yes. cool. Yes. Very cool. So same thing as you. Okay, good. So let's jump in. Let's set the stage. Okay, set it up. So about five or six years ago, I was grandfathered into AT&T's unlimited plan for two lines and uh, you know some some amount of data not for unlimited data. I was paying uh, about two hundred and twelve dollars a month. Wow! For an unlimited data plan with an iPhone on AT and T. Wow! Now of course this was back in the day when your phone was essentially subsidized in quotes. Yes, it was. And it was basically included in your bill, and you never actually paid it off though. Right. It was always, and this is the thing that T Mobile changed, mm -hmm. where they separated the plan from the device installment right. payment. Right. Right. So. I decided at the time, and this was the subject of the story, to switch from that unlimited data plan with AT&T to uh, an actual limited data plan. And I, I went with just four gigs of monthly data because the thing was I realized I wasn't using that much. Wow, okay. So, so at, yeah, back then when you yeah, switched away. Yeah, um, that dropped my price industry, to 175. 175. So the industry moved away from unlimited. So the reason you were grandfathered in be, is because AT&T – basically stopped offering unlimited plans. I actually joined AT&T in 2007 for the first iPhone. Um, I left Verizon to Likewise, join AT&T. I did exactly that. Right, because they were an exclusive carrier of the iPhone and um, got the unlimited plan. They stopped offering it. So anyone who already had it could keep, could keep it. Anyone who left and wanted to come back or anyone who was new would have to sign up for a limited data plan. Um, and so, so a lot of people, once they were grandfathered in, felt trapped like no one else is offering unlimited plans i'm on a, i'm grandfathered in on one so i'm kind of trapped in at&t if i want unlimited data um, and as time went on at&t actually offered less i don't know what you want to call it. it's like high less speed, good service less high speed unlimited well, data. less high speed but also um for example if you were an un if you were grandfathered in on unlimited you could not use tethering on your devices. If you were on any other plan, tethering would work. If you were if you were grandfathered in on unlimited, the tethering option would give you an error whenever you tried to use it. So there were things that they stopped. Oh, when FaceTime first came out, if you were unlimited, you couldn't use FaceTime if you weren't on Wi-Fi. So there were things about unlimited that kind of limited what you could do. And and so, but the industry shifted away from unlimited yes. plans. Now what we're seeing is a shift back to Definitely. unlimited plans. Yes. So what I did, I, I switched to T-Mobile, I, I think back in August 2014. And this was actually a not a personal decision of mine. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I'll tell mean? you why. So we were trying to get John Ledger to speak, John Ledger, the T-Mobile oh CEO, gosh. to speak at the GeekWire Summit back in 2014. Okay. And there are people said, you know, he's willing to do it, but you got to show him that you're serious. This is like classic T-Mobile. What? And so I went to the T-Mobile store. I switched from AT&T to T-Mobile, took a, took a selfie of myself and the T-Mobile rep who sold me the phone and said, you know, see you at the summit, John Ledger. And he showed up. Oh, <laughs> it was my one of the gosh. Best. It was That's totally hilarious. Weird. But I've been on T-Mobile ever since. Here's the thing. When I switched to T-Mobile initially, I was paying for my phone that I had just bought okay. in, in, as part of my bill. Not as part right. of my plan, but as part of my bill. So my bill was initially about $205 a month. Okay. So making that switch at first, basically, I was taking myself back up to where I had been in the realm of yeah. AT&T's unlimited plan cost. Now, I finally, I paid off my iPhone. Okay. Over time, so with within you know a couple of years, I was at one hundred and seventy nine dollars a month. One hundred seventy nine bucks. So, two lines. Yeah, two lines. Two lines. And uh, the the whole idea was, I think I think we had one one line that was two gigs and one that was six, something okay. in that realm. In that realm. And so now T Mobile has 
basically push the industry back to unlimited data. Yes. And so they've got their new T-Mobile One plan, mm-hmm. which as a new feature has taxes and fees included in the published right. rates. So I just this past weekend, after getting an email from a reader, by the way, because on that AT&T story that I did originally about switching away from unlimited, I mm-hmm. said, well, I made the right decision. Because the real debate is, are you going to need that unlimited data somewhere down the road? And are you right. going to have benefited from sticking around with mm-hmm. the grandfathered plan back in 2012? Right. I made the decision that no, I wasn't. It was a, it was a gamble that I was going to go on a, a, a limited plan and be okay down the road. Okay. A reader emailed me, and she's been dealing with her own thing. She stayed on AT&T Unlimited. They throttle her after three gigs is what she's saying. And, uh, you know, do, basically, do you have her email here? I, I do. I do. She said, the... she said, I read your article. Now, five years later, do you regret giving up your grandfather in data or are you glad you did? She has desperately held on to her, she says. And now they slow her down after three gigs and her bill is outrageous with three teenagers. I don't even know if I should stay with AT&T advice. Appreciate it. OK. So that's what sparked this whole thing. Mm-hmm. So Very I went back just this past week and looked at my bill. And, of course, I'm paying a lot less yes. than I was before. And with my data stash on T-Mobile, I usually don't go over my my allotted data plan. Mm-hmm. But I was able to switch to T-Mobile One. And they are telling me, I've yet to see my bill, but they are telling me that my bill for the, about, for unlimited data with two lines and essentially the same plan. It's 100 bucks, right? 159 so if Why you is it 159 in, So it's 120 for two lines on T-Mobile One. And then you add in um, the $20 uh, jump insurance program. And then I actually had to add five more dollars. I had to have five more dollars because on the basic T-Mobile One plan, mm-hmm. you don't get 4G tethering. You get 3G tethering. In other words, the ability to use your phone as a mobile hotspot. You know what? You made a mistake, my friend. What? What did I? Oh, tell me. What What did I do wrong? Well, they had a promotion. I, I just ended. I know. That I actually, so... So to back up, I I, I've I actually been on grandfathered AT&T from 2007 to 2017. What? 10 years. Cuz I didn't want to I didn't want to give up my unlimited for the data. very reason that I was saying. Right. Who knows how much data you're going to use Exactly. Down the road. And I know you know when especially when I travel. So I work from home. I'm on Wi-Fi all the time, but when I travel, I'm on I'm on I'm using my data all the time. I'm going to I'm going to go over and as time goes on, you're only going to use more not less. Like from 2007 versus 2017, you're going to use more data, not less. Now, but before you go on, I should say the 159 includes my $30 a month payment on my iPhone. Okay. So it's really 129 if okay. you take away the device. Anyway, okay. keep going. Keep going. You, so you, so were, you were on AT&T Unlimited yes. until just recently. Until just recently. And then T-Mobile puts out their Unlimited plan, but it still had some limits on it, kind of like what you were just describing. Um, and plus, I was very, very wary of T-Mobile coverage. Like, is it really, like, I didn't know. Was it going to be, like, terrible? Was it going to be okay? Depends on where you are. I just didn't know. Right. So I was like, it feels like a gamble. But then Verizon came out with their unlimited plan. And um, so I'm on AT&T, grandfathered in, and I'm looking around, and then Sprint came out with their unlimited plan. And AT&T is still not offering anything. I'm like, what is happening here? So I'm paying more, much more money. Um, I have a discount on AT&T, about 30% off, and my discounted rate is still higher than all three of the other carriers' normal rate. Now, AT&T offers unlimited, though. They, they offer now a new unlimited plan. So, so at the time, this was a couple months ago, they had, um, if you joined DirecTV, right. you could sign up for unlimited. So I'm writing in. I'm like, okay, I've been with you 10 years. Everyone else is offering un- unlimited. I'm grandfathered in. I can't even do tethering. I want something that's equal to any of the other ones. And they couldn't do it. So I'm like, all right, I'm leaving. Um, I was I was hesitant about should it be Verizon, should it be T-Mobile. T-Mobile then started offering taxes included. Yep. So 70 bucks flat versus the 90 that I was paying. They're offering tethering. They have their T-Mobile Tuesdays every week with free, you know, free whatever, like free movies and all that. And so I decided I was going to jump in and switch over to T-Mobile. 4G tethering. So it's unlimited tethering. The first 10 gigabytes is 4G. Right. And then anything after that, still unlimited, but it's 3G. So you got that during the promotional period. So you got it yes. at no extra cost. But I got was, something even better. What would you get? They were also running through the end of March 20% off for life. So, $70. Oh, my God. 
Take 20% off of that. Yeah, You're it. down to $56. Taxes included. I was paying 90 56 And then they had another promotion. They all stacked on top of each other, which was if you, if you signed up with a Google Pixel, they would give you a credit of 350 bucks spread out over 12 months. So I get another $13.50 off my bill. So now we're down to $43 a month. For unlimited. Oh man, I blew it's it. It's insane. Where were you? Where were you when I was uh, going through you this? You were on vacation video? not watching the show that we were doing. You missed it. <laughs> All right. Hey, we're going to find out next how Andrew's T Mobile service is going for him. Because okay. This is a big question. Yes, it is. You're right. Welcome back to Geared Up on GeekWire. I'm Todd Bishop. I'm Andrew Edwards. All right. We are talking this week about the nuances yeah. and the strategy of which mobile carrier you go with. That's really what it is. wireless carrier, and which plan you choose. Right, it's like playing chess. There. Yeah, the, sort of the, the basis for this conversation was my journey over the past five to six years. Yes. But Andrew's been much savvier about this than I have, <laughs> it turns out. I've been able to reduce my bill to 159 from previously more than $200, basically. That's, that's nice. Yeah, so that's good. Andrew's done something even more. So how much is your monthly bill going to be? for like It's one, one device, is that right? Yeah, one device. So I'm only doing one device. Um, so the the current fee for one device from T-Mobile is seventy dollars taxes all in, but at this point I believe they don't they only do three G tethering not four G and they also um, require you when you stream video it's like throttled down to four eighty p versus the one I'm on has ten eighty or you know full right and so I got onto your plan but by paying five dollars extra a month for okay. T-Mobile One Plus so got five dollars and that's it. the that's the problem that's what's so troubling and and sometimes great about this is if you can save five dollars a month that adds up yes and you know in the case of you know 30 40 dollars a month that also add, that mm-hmm. adds up even more obviously mm-hmm. so you're not you, you think about it you tend to think about it in terms of the monthly increment but it's more interesting in terms of the year yeah increment. overall but if you travel a lot though the one plus or even even the one plan the one plan gives you one hour free go go wi-fi on planes the one plus gives you unlimited free wi-fi and even that like if you're going cross country if you were to buy that on the plane, it's like a twenty dollar, right. you know, fee, or sometimes even more. So they're saving. Like when I looked at that versus Verizon, I started to notice very quickly that T-Mobile would save me a lot of money in a bunch of different ways um, if the service lived up to the expectations that obviously, like their CEO sets up. But you never know. Like, okay. is it real? So let's talk about that in a second. But this is a good lesson to pay attention to the promotions that That's some right. of these sites. So that some of these carriers offer because it adds up. Yes, it, it makes does. a big difference. And you you were much smarter, and I'm I'm actually feeling a little bit ticked off at myself <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, so you've been on T-Mobile for how long now? I'd say maybe it's like six to eight weeks. Okay, how's it going? I haven't had any complaints. No complaints. Okay. Um, and where, where have you been? I've been in Seattle. I've been in New York. I've been in where have you been? Somewhere in California. Um, in a major metropolitan area? Yes, yes. yes. Um, everywhere I've gone is a hub of, of you know, a hub. Um, some I did go to a, a non-major city in Colorado. I forget the name. It's so small. But I haven't had any problems. Um, I'm, I was actually surprised because I expected, I expected to go into it expecting some frustrations. But when you expect it, it's not as frustrating. But I haven't had any issues at all, um, which is very interesting. Now, I do use an iPhone 7 Plus. And the newer the device that you use, the more LTE bands you can access. And T-Mobile is always adding these new bands. The latest is band 12, which can go through buildings better um, and can reach further. But if you don't have a phone that supports band 12, then your T-Mobile service may be different than what I experience. And if you get, for example, the new Galaxy S8, that one will do the gigabit LTE which the iPhone doesn't do. So again, it depends on what device you're using. If you have a more current device, you're going to experience better service than someone else might, especially with T-Mobile. Now, when you're talking about this, are you talking about voice or data? I'm talking about data specifically. Um, I don't know about voice because I really, you know, despite the fact that we call these things phones, I don't know that I even talk on this for an hour a month. Like, but you really, know, yeah, I, oh I'm, I'm really on phone. But I mean, texting and checking the internet and like, I'm doing that all day. So, you know, I'm, I'm probably when I'm when it's a big travel month, I'm probably using 10 to 12 gigabytes of data yeah. during that month. So that's what I'm really, you know, the frustration for me isn't a dropped call. It's I'm trying to pull up directions or, or something that I need at the moment. And I can't get it. And I have not experienced that yet. So I've actually been very pleasantly surprised. Two points on that. Number one, 
as somebody who's been on T-Mobile for three years, it has gotten noticeably better. So when you first switched, were you... I went through a stretch. Uh, we went on a road trip through Northern California. We drove from Seattle to Northern California. And there was a point where um, it wasn't even CDMA. It was GRSM. Oh, right. Right? Oh, like, my gosh. Ancient cellular yeah. technology that was... It was one of the most frustrating experiences of my... Uh, well, of your entire not, life. I don't want to overstate it. <laughs> it was not fun. <laughs> it was not fun. And uh, I can remember I was just trying to check in, you know, check on my, check my email. Like, it, it took so long for one email to, right. to download. It was just ridiculous. Now, so, were you regretting your decision at, at that the time, time? At the time. But, I mean, John Ledger, as I said, was a great speaker. I'm sure he was. He was the, he was the, the, the he made that year's GeekWire Summit. So, you know, I'm willing to take one for the team. <laughs> it has gotten much, much better okay. over the last three years. And when you look at what I'm doing here with my bill, you know, I'm happy that I switched. Right. It's taken a while for me to reach that point. Mm -hmm. And I still sometimes in remote areas where I think, a good example, visiting my uh, brother-in-law in Homestead, Florida. Okay. He gets great Verizon service in his neighborhood. I get no service. At least the last time we were there, That's I got recent. no service. Yeah, it's within a year or okay. so. Um, I get no service. So, like, you're with somebody who's on a different carrier, and they're getting great right. service. That's the most frustrating thing. Right. Well, even more frustrating, though, is if you and I are standing in the same spot, and I have a newer phone than you, and yeah. we have the same carrier, mm -hmm. and my iPhone or my Galaxy S8 is getting, you know, great service, and you're getting, because you're on the 6S or 6, worse. Um Verizon, or rather T-Mobile, just purchased a bunch of new Spectrum. That's right. And this new Spectrum is actually going to, I think, put them on par or even surpass what Verizon currently has. Um, it's it's really exhaustive, um, the, the level of Spectrum that they just picked up. And so, obviously, new phones are going to need to be made that can, you know, tune into those bands for that Spectrum. But when it happens, they may have very well the best... Not only the best service, but the widest, most available service coming up soon. They spent eight billion dollars. A lot on of money. Spectrum. They call it, it's called low band spectrum. Yes, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. If I'm not mistaken. So, very interesting. So, bottom line, and, and it's it's also interesting too that T-Mobile has been adding subscribers. They just announced their earnings right. last week, and it was, almost a million. Yeah, more than a million. It's more than a million. One point one million uh, additional customers. About nine hundred thousand of those were postpaid, which are the valuable customers right. that pay on credit cards and afterwards, as opposed to prepaid plans okay. where you basically stock it up in advance, which right. are considered less valuable to the carriers because okay. they're not as they're not as sticky as customers yeah, yeah. are. But as we've seen, not only did T Mobile add all those customers, but Verizon lost and AT and T lost. So people are leaving these other carriers and flocking over to T-Mobile. It's which, very interesting. Which is what John Ledger was pushing for all along. And, right. and really, these network issues are the last big stumbling block. These last remaining network issues are the, the last major things that T-Mobile has to overcome to, right. to really be, I think, the kind of thing where we're not having this discussion about the, the, yeah. the, the dead spots in their coverage. Right. So the question that was posed to you is, do you regret this? Did you make the right decision? What's I, your answer? I feel great about my decision to switch away from AT and T Unlimited. I feel okay about my decision to switch to T Mobile. I feel really stupid that I didn't take advantage of the promotions <laughs> oh. that you just brought up here. So thanks, thanks a lot, Andrew. Yes, yes. And my my answer to that question was, I think I did the right thing by waiting, um, waiting. Although I was stuck on you know a a gimped version of Unlimited for a decade, I waited until they offered unlimited plans that were full featured rather than taking features away and um, the pricing on t-mobile i just it just cannot be beat right now all right share your experiences with us tips at geekwire.com and we'll share them with everybody yeah. else if we want if they're good ones yeah that's right <laughs> on share good ones <laughs> good experiences with your wireless plans or bad ones that's true good or bad experiences yes, good yes. stories we want good stories tell about stories your, about your carrier yeah tips at geekwire.com hey a big thanks to godaddy for mm -hmm. sponsoring this week's episode of geared up GoDaddy, you may not know, is the world's largest technology provider dedicated to small business and the largest domain registrar. They've got everything the you need. To, that's right. To set up your business, get it online with award-winning 24-7 support. For a limited time, we have a special discount code when you're buying a domain through GoDaddy. Save money. 35% off using the code GEAREDUP35. GEAREDUP35. Save 35% on your domain order. That's right. Hey, and if you want to subscribe to Geared Up, just go to geekwire.com slash geared up or search for us on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Also, 
We have a special live behind the scenes video stream of the show whenever we record it here at the GeekWire offices every week. To do that, the best thing to do is to subscribe to Andrew's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash gear live to see the show live and chat with us during the breaks. Yes. Good stuff. All right. Until next time, I'm Todd Bishop. I'm Andrew Edwards. We'll talk to you next time on Geared Up on GeekWire.